What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Elude Star Wars Plays. Today we're going to be playing some World of Warcraft Classic Hardcore on our level... It's, it's not even going to be... We have, an, we have a level 11 hunter right now, reticulating. He, he was just... He's just been the activator for uh, what we're about to get into. Uh, I got I got some... I got like a, a color filter on. This is... I think this is going to help me in the same way like if you're in a hot dog eating contest to win the hot dog eating contest you probably need to get a different taste than a hot dog like on occasion like in order to switch up the, the taste but so we're going to do that with our color scheme here to give our eyes a little bit of a break we actually want to send some silver over to an alt we have called window actually we'll send this spice wolf meat these light armor kits and even that hp potion to window and we're gonna switch over to window we haven't set him up yet i don't the ui is not really we, we've been honing in different details involving the elf ui and uh I think I got things kind of honed in the way I like. We're also using Plater. We're using Plater for the nameplates. It's kind of already set up the same way we had it set up before. We're just walking it out. As, as we play more, the levels of complexity will increase with our UI and our characters and how all that stuff works. Here's the profile. We're going to go to the reticular activating system profile. Yeah, and then for details, this also has a profile. This profile is also the reticular activating. Yes, okay. Now this one's supposed to be... This was supposed to be... Our moves? I guess it doesn't translate over. We'll move it to threat. We'll make it threat. Now, Questy's still kind of set up properly, it looks like. Let's let's fix our audio. Things are kind of loud. 60? Is that is that too loud for you guys? No, nah, right? Y'all can I got it turned up for me. So let's see. We sent some mail, reticular activating. Okay, okay. This was actually for a purpose. We sent ourselves a cloak as well. So we got our reticular activating cloak. <laughs> We're gonna go to Darnassus My goods are of the highest and make some quality. purchases. Good luck, friend. We had to send Window some money. He's he's already level ten. But he still doesn't even have a wand, so we're going to get him a wand and switch up from the mace. So we could be wand window instead of mace window. <laughs> right? <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> let's, let's get the Tardasses. It's a little bit of a ways. We're gonna be going a little bit of a ways here. It is a beautiful walk. You know... It's not just all leveling and dungeons and, and bosses and dragons every day. Some days it's just about the journey. It's just about... The dance to the destination, not so much just the arrival. And the arrival will be exciting, but the climax is only satisfying after a little bit of a journey. So, but yeah, we'll we'll continue. <laughs> Ooh, a bridge. We gotta look at this. This bridge was built for the people that were too scared to take this bridge. I personally prefer this one. Look, see? Watch.
That was the bridge right... The one right here. I mean, you can't really call it the, the path less traveled because this thing's probably been here for centuries. So it's probably still the path more traveled. <laughs> if you look at it in like a larger, grander scheme. That actually probably very well could be considered the path less traveled. Of course, night elves are old in a mug too. Night elves can be pretty elderly. Look at the mana. Ooh. Oh, we can bump. Oh, we can't see their buffs, though. I'm gonna be messing with this UI, guys. <laughs> I'm not gonna just be letting it stay like it is. <laughs> I'm gonna have to be stopping and going into the options. Do y'all wanna see? Y'all wanna see? Okay. Buffs, debuffs. It's actually unit frames, because I wanted to see the buffs over my my nameplate. So, individual units. We're looking at a target. So, we want the target. We don't need our buffs up there. We could use our debuffs down there, but... Okay, for the target, we want to see their buffs. We want to enable. Now, we are our, our own target. We are our own target. We are our target. We are our target. <laughs> okay, these are the debuffs. They're kind of overriding the buffs. The, the, the debuffs will put on the bottom. How's that? Actually, we want we want the buffs on the bottom. Let's say buffs on the bottom. Bottom left. And uh, we're going to offset them minus 2. Okay, we're going to offset them minus 10. Okay, we're going to offset them minus 35. Okay, we're going to offset them minus 20. Minus 20 looks pretty good. We'll give it a little bit more of a breadth of a space. Because that, that glow is pretty... We don't want to want to mess up that glow. There you go, right there. And then uh, above it, the buffs, the debuffs, the dub buffs above it. We want these offset plus twenty-three. Too much, too much, too much. Thirteen. Okay. Okay. Niner. Okay. Okay. Six. Okay. How about tree? Three it is. Okay, so that's beautiful. Also, player buffs copy from target. Yeah. Player debuffs copy from target. Yes. So now we just copied that same method over here. So we have we have a double we have a dual display of our buffs. No, no, debuffs fine, buffs no, okay, there we go, what's in the middle here, oh, his power, okay, my power appears to be offset, not everything translated perfectly appears, but that's, that's okay, power, player, downer, uh, minus 27, Minus 35. Minus 29. Minus 29. Minus 21. Minus 29 nails it. Minus 29 nails it. Okay, that's that's the way. We don't need to show auras anymore. Uh, I accidentally did something. Okay, we don't need to show auras. Target, we don't need to show auras. Okay. Good, good, good. Okay, so now that that's updated, this is what we have to do. This is what we've been doing. Every time we change something like that, I go into profiles. I export profile. I export now. I control C. Control A, control C, control C, control C. Close. Import. Control V. Import now. RAS. Yes. Close. Done. Now we got to update this. Okay, this is the LVI update. Control A, we're gonna select all. Control A. Control 
Backspace, Control V, okay. This is gonna be the updated text, save. All right, we're ready. Continue, continue. Now you guys saw that, you guys got to see that. This is how far we've made it, by the way. We're still going. We've now arrived at the gates. Window. First thing we're gonna do, we already have our hearth bound, but we're gonna actually run to the, uh, the auction house, the auction house. That guy's name was Sniffle. I have the uncontrollable, uncontrollable. It's, it's near uncontrollable urge to scratch or itch my tickly nose. The nose knows how uncontrollable the urge feels. Greeting. But I'm a man of great Denied. stoicism. And I can resist that urge by not doing it. I just won't, I, look. I feel like I gotta rub my nose, but I'm not gonna do it. I don't need to rub my nose. Okay, I'm not rubbing it. I, I'm not rubbing it. I'm still not rubbing. I'm just gonna flare my nostrils though. This isn't rubbing it. This isn't rubbing my nose, okay? That kind of is. That doing that is. That counts. That you can't do. I'm not doing that though. I wasn't doing that. Still not rubbing my nose. I am blinking though. I can blink. It's okay if I blink. I knew a guy when you told him a joke. When he began laughing uncontrollably, <laughs> he'd go. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> Why is he? <laughs> he would start laughing like this. Why does he laugh that way? Tell me why. Tell me why. I don't. I don't know. I don't get it. Why would. That didn't count. I wasn't actually rubbing my nose. That, did, that didn't count. That was a real story, too. It really was a story. A tale of sorts. If it had a height, it probably wouldn't be very tall. I am honored. It'd probably be kind of a short story. Be careful. Peace be with you. May the star. Somewhat of a, a, sh a short story. A novel, if you will. A novel interaction. Still not sniffling though, like a G. Like a G. You know how much it costs to change your character's name? Like, not not just monetarily, like in the game. Like, it costs to change your character's name in the game, right? I don't know if that's a service provided for classic, but I'm sure it costs. There's an associated amount. I would say. Even if you're just transferring servers and you're paying for character transfers and stuff. There's a way to pay to change your character's name, right? I'm looking for the auction house too, by the way. We're not just aimlessly ram ra rambling and, and running around. We're actually searching for something. I want to find it organically. I was hoping I could find it organically. It's probably not going to be in the craftsman's terrace. It's probably going to be in the tradesman's terrace though. So I'm going to go down to the tradesman's terrace. And uh... Yeah, just kind of like continue the topic of conversation we were previously having before I got sidetracked or derailed. And I haven't even forgot what that was. Um, not at all even. So the auction house has a great many wondrous things that we can purchase. I think we will purchase what we need from the auction house when we get there. And as we arrive, You'll be able to see through these windows. And look into other windows. 
from this window onto your windows. Your eyes. Windows to the soul. <laughs> the eyes. <laughs> Never mind. Interestingly enough, uh, I've not found the auction house yet. This is the uh, not my fault because no. Be I try. Careful. I just I've rolled many Nidos. I usually just go straight to Stormwind though. Sentinel's bunkhouse. Oh. Mail armor, shields. I thought this is the tradesman's terrace. I thought this would be where we could conduct conduct trades. I do yeah. want to conduct more trades. More trading activities. I don't know if I've hit the trade on retail today. On on well, this month even. I don't know if I've even logged into retail to do the the traders coin exchange thing there. I think this is it. Auctioneer. Auctioneer Silvalas. Alright, so this is closer to the center. So this is like... It's like... If this... This could be like... Well, it's not the heart. It's like... What? The diaphragm? This is like the ab... The spleen? This is like... It's one of the organs, one of the, one of the major. Okay, so we got. Okay, I was gonna say it was like the kidney of Darnassus, but it's not. It's more like a an upper organ, like a pancreas. This is the pancreas of uh, Darnassus, the darn asses. Okay, so I'm looking for weapons. I'm looking for miscellaneous. No, I'm looking for wands. Yes. Ooh, star feller. Look at this one. Ooh, sparkly. It's only like nine gold. That's not bad. We could we could swing that. We could swing that here in about. We got 27 gold, silver now. That's like, we're we're almost there. We just we just have to keep earning more, and we will. I mean, we are. We currently am is. Uh, this is sorted from lowest to highest. Now, I just want to sort from highest usable item levels. This is the highest usable item level. It's a silver too. This is 10.4 deeps shadow damage. 8.7 deeps fire damage. 11.3 deeps arcane damage. Okay. Okay, I'm thinking... I'm thinking this is only six silver. That's eight silver. This is 11.3 DPS. This is 10.4 DPS. Shadow Wand wins if I'm specced into more shadow damage in my tree somehow, or I got like shadow damage gear. But arcane damage is just fine with me. Arcane damage. All right, let's search still though. That was a magic wand, right? Magic wand. This is the greater at level 13 and three levels will be able to get this one. So we might as well do it now. So search them, sort them. Okay, so currently the cheapest ones to buy aren't by the bid. They're by the buyout. So look at the second number, the yellow number. This one here is only 25. Uh, but that one, apparently I can't afford unless I sell something. Ooh, 21 though I could. 21 though I can. 21 too, ooh, give me that. Don't mind if I do. Is there anything cheaper? Ooh, 20 and 18, these are cheaper. 18's cheaper. This one puts coins in our pocket. Let's go with that one. So now we have our level, I don't know, it was like a level five wand, but we didn't have a wand, so we needed just any wand. And then we grabbed a level 13 wand for the next three levels whenever this one expires. So yeah, that is gonna pair really well with our wand specialization into discipline. I plan on fully specking that out 
going deeper into uh, probably probably improved power word fortitude and improved shields. I'll do the bubble first and then power word fortitude to get to the next tier. And then we'll do meditation. Probably mixed in with some uh, gives you 50 chance to cast an effect with the victim. I don't know. I don't know about this. I'll figure it out. I'll probably go into unbreakable will. Unbreakable will. So I'm thinking one specialization, power word fortitude, improved shield gets me up to meditation, two into unbreakable will. Will that is unbreakable will. Uh, this will allow me into the next tier where I can dip back for inner focus if I need at some point. I probably do mental agility into divine spirit, mental strength. Yeah, I'm not going to have any problem until like at some point I'm going to want to inner focus, but I can hold off most likely and continue down the tree to power infusion. I plan on beelining it to power infusion. Force of will increase your spell crit damage off of spells. Yeah, I think I'll probably have to circle back to this tree for that. I'll go into holy most likely. Nah, I like shadow. I like uh, shadows, shadow damage, a chance to stun. The, I like blackout. I like that. Spirit tap's very nice. Early levels, like leveling, spirit tap is so good. But with the wand, if I'm primarily wanding, I'll probably drag my feet picking that up. But it's definitely worth grabbing. I'll probably go into that blackout, shadow word painting, uh, shadow focus, so my spells hit more often, um, mind blasting, and, and we'll dip into shadow as much as we can after discipline. I don't know how deep we'll get, but. This is like, what, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Then we're going to start going 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. We could probably get to Vampiric Embrace. I'd like to get improved Vampiric Embrace if I can swing it. So I'll probably drag my feet on Power Infusion. Um, I'll probably, after Mental Strength, go straight into Shadow. So primarily this Shadow. And then I'll just have like a whole extra set of gear for some uh, other activities. Let's let's go use this wand. I really like the uh, animation here for the uh, mana region. The mana region animation. I was like thinking about dragging this move down the moment I decided to start talking. So had a little bit of a cognitive over cognitive overload. Um, we we'll put it right down. I had to drag a separate bar out for my second bar here, so it took some buttons. I had to do some buttons. All right, uh, still gonna do my wand. I just wanted to turn this in up here. It looks pretty. Like I don't mind showing this, guys. This is this is a beautiful thing. Look at this. This is beautiful. Which way? This way? Yeah, this way. Wow. Not that one. Yeah, it looks pretty, man. I like this. I think this is who we're after here. Priestess Alatea. What brings you here? I want to trade. Going peace. Ooh, ooh. Star shards. I got a spell called star shards. What is this? I never heard of this. Star shards. Rain star shards down on an enemy target's head, causing arcane damage. Oh, that's cool. I can't wait to do that on some folks. Can't wait to do it to them. Can't wait to do it for them. I'm going to do it for them. Just so they can feel what it feels like to have it done. Uh, I decided not to train resurrection because... Uh, futility... Oh, we gotta tra we gotta go get we're gonna go throw some spells so we can train. We need to start grinding a bit. Oh, we do have stuff in the mail. If we can hit a mailbox. I could probably uh afford to train some because I think I mailed some more stuff. I think I sent some more silver. Oh, we gotta get what we bought from the auction house. 
<laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right, so now we're no longer Mace Windu. We're Wand Window. Wand Window. <laughs> yeah. Who is he smart? We can't. We can't get off a. Of, we can't get off the Night Elf starting area until like the crossroads, right? I don't think we could. I would have to level in our Aberdeen or something, I think. Unless I can get a flight path or something. Yeah, I don't think we could get over there. I don't I don't remember how you can. I know the boat will take you to like minute though. I've been out to minute though, but I was like, oh, this is what too high level. So I, I came back a to level. I think you do. I think you got to do the leveling. Like, that's why the night elves are like ghosts, because if you got a friend that's a night elf, you're going to level with them. They're on the other side of the continent. You don't see that friend. Maybe you talk to that friend's spirit, but you don't see that friend until y'all get to like level 20. So yeah, I'm just, I'm going to double back. We're going to go, we're going to knock out these quests here and totally finish out this whole uh, tree, the whole, Tel all of Teldrassil. Then head to Aberdeen. Totally do Aberdeen. Totally. And then uh, begin working our way through the crossroads to uh, Ratchet, Booty Bay. Nah, how does it work? I don't know. I don't know. This is a uh, this is confounding. I'll figure it out, but I might have to do some googling. Maybe I'll have to like phone a friend. I'm, I might have to disable my chat here or re-enable my chat here and socialize. I've been really protecting my reticular activating. Look, this guy's name is Dad. That's a pretty interesting name. I don't know if there's money in name changing, but leveling a whole new character is like a whole different type of cost. It's like more of like a soul cost. <laughs> Just to put your message out there. <laughs> it's, it's like that Shang Tsung lock soul warlock energy but yeah um i'm i'm heading out here to we're gonna next time we cut we're gonna be wanding we gotta level this wand too it's not leveled yet so we're gonna be wand leveling window here to shoot here we go oh y'all ain't ready for it oh i can't wait to use my star surge ability too star sharks it's a 50 mana channeled. Oh, so much for wanding then? We'll, we'll channel it to get ourselves out of the business if we get into the business. Here, let's open with it. Wow. Wow. So we'll channel until they get to us and then we'll wand them down. Yeah. Yeah. Wand's level five. Wand's level six. Now we begin playing the game. Now we begin playing the game. Look, this is the target of my target target. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so nice. So nice. And we have healing magical abilities, so we can always just heal ourselves. And we can bubble ourselves. And we can channel this star move on them. Yeah. And then once they get us down enough, wand them to death. Open with the stars and with the wands. I cast the universe. Oh shit, he resisted. Wand them down. Our wands are already at 23. Like a machine gun wand. There it is. 27 of 50. Yeah. Oh, we can move this way. Oh, no, we can't. What if we go this, this, toggle anchors, config mode, party, yeah. blizzard widgets? Mm -hmm. Okay, no. Can't move that. That's fine. That's It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Stars. 
Yeah. He's got a lot of stop and start. He's got a lot of stop and start. Because if I want to do the stars, it's going to be like some global cooldowns. So I'll probably do stars into a uh, Shadow Word Pain, then wand them down. So it'll be like this. Stars. Into a Shadow Word Pain, and then wand them down. Oh yeah, the Uber Deeps. The Uber Deeps, yes. Yes, okay. Okay. It says 131 DPS. Are you sure about that? He did 12 damage, but 131 DPS. <laughs> I don't think it's right. I don't think... I think it's... I think it's swip swapped. I think it may be... 131 damage at 12 DPS. Ah. He's level 9. Okay, Shadow Word Pain. Okay, Bubble. Okay, Wand. Yes. 10 damage, 160 p. Yeah, this shit ain't right. This shit ain't right. Okay, hold on, hold on. Fix it, slash details, options. DPS and damage are mixed. So it should be DPS and then Demush and then apply done. It should be like that, okay. I should have bubbled before I did my stars thing. So this is the actual DPS. 12 right now is the DPS. 124 is the total damage, right? What the fuck is 124? I don't get what that is. Okay, we're gonna shadow our pain, then stars. And then one. I like opening with shadow or pain much. It helps if we're already bubbled. And then run while we're waiting for the global cooldown. Into some wands. Yeah, that's it. That's the one. That's that's how we're doing this. And it's it's potent. It's pretty potent. Shadow or pain. Stars. He comes so fast, he's just like sprints or something. I'm gonna rebubble. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait to rebubble. Bubbling. Now one. That wand's hitting like a freight train now. It's at 50. It's it's maxed out now. Oh, we're about to get some harpies. I'm gonna be farming harpies, guys. So let's take one harpy down. I'll show you the process. This is what we're gonna be doing. I'm out of rain. He said out of rain, okay. Harpy's a little bit slower. I love that that meteor comes down on their fucking face. It's so nice. Okay. Wang the gang. Wang a gang. Raga God. Okay. That's right. Okay, guys. That's uh, Wand Window. Our level 10 Shadow Priest. Appreciate you guys tuning in. And until next time. I wish time, you well. I wish you well. Peace. Peace.